for one of the earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. What do we have for earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is earth sign energy. So this could be you working on something. Could be somebody who wants to work with you. High Priestess is here and Knight of Swords is here. So somebody could be pissed off and mad about, you know, the work that you do, but they're, they're keeping it hidden. This could be you that's in this high priestess energy as well. You could be someone that reads tarot. You could be someone that knows hidden knowledge. And um, you could have knew some hidden knowledge about, you know, a certain person or multiple people or something like that. But this particular person, you knew some hidden knowledge about this person and they were pissed. Yeah, Ace of Swords is here. It's like you could have gave somebody clarity. You could have spoke the truth. And that person is pissed off or they got pissed off and they have been trying to hide the fact that they did something quick out of anger because you spoke the truth. Yeah, Four of Swords is here. This is somebody that could be literally sick. Wow. And then Four of Cups is here. Like somebody could have isolated their self from that person. Four of Swords laid a situation to rest and they started rejecting that person. Four of Cups is here. They got mad. They got mad and they kept it hidden. But you spoke the truth about something that that person was hiding. Some type of hidden knowledge that you knew about this person. You communicated this page of wands is here. You could have been trying to inspire somebody. You could have been trying to wake somebody up. You could have um, sent somebody some type of message about something that was hidden. And the person got really mad when you spoke the truth. Ace of Cups is here. And then Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that was trying to create blockages for someone. So they would not um, have true love. They could have knew that this person was somebody that was in love with you. And they were trying to create blockages for that person. Or trying to create blockages for you. Could have been both. Yeah, Ten of Cups is here. This could have been a group of people. This could have been somebody that was in your family. That person's family. Or something like that. This could have been a family member. Somebody that was close who did this. And it's like something backfired. The Empress is here. And then the Sun card in the reverse. So somebody did not want to get exposed. But you knew some hidden knowledge about this person. You spoke the truth and they got pissed. But they kept it hidden. They got behind the scenes and they were trying to create blockages. Seven of Wands is here. They were trying to keep someone blocked off from you or they were trying to just, you know, create blockages, trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles around you for speaking the truth. Yeah, this person did something to try to have you in this hangman energy. They wanted you to feel stuck, but they did not want to get exposed. This Empress card being here, this could be a mother... Or somebody that's older that did this. In a group of people. The strength card is here. Whoever this person is. They could be a Leo. Queen of Wands is here. And 
And then the star card is here. Yeah, it's like this person knew that you were someone that was very gifted. They knew that you were someone that was spiritually woke. They know that you're someone that was very intuitive, very in tune. And um, you use your gifts in a positive way. You were sent to help different people get woke. That's why you spoke the truth about whatever that was hidden and that person got mad. It's like they knew all of this about you, but they got behind the scenes and they still were trying to create blockages for you. And they were trying to block somebody off uh, from coming towards you to express their emotions to you. Ace of Cups. Nine of Cups is here. This is somebody that's very selfish. It's like this person sit back, they drink a lot. They overindulge in, you know, toxicity. Toxic patterns, different things like that. Queen of Cups is here. They could have knew that this person was watching you as their wish fulfillment. You made this person happy. They're in love with you. But it's like they didn't want that person to see them for who they truly are. They didn't want stuff to be illuminated to that person. This is sad. You know, this person literally could have got behind the scenes and tried to wrap you up in some type of situation because you spoke the truth. And you're someone that um, is very gifted. <clears throat> wow. Yeah. This was destined to happen. It's like you're someone that is, um, <clears throat> you have a destiny and a purpose. You were destined. You were supposed to do whatever it is that you said to someone and you spoke the truth. That was your calling. You were supposed to do that. You're supposed to call that person out. Yeah, the moon card is here. And seven of cups. Yeah, this person was trying to hide. So if they were attached to someone that have a will of fortune with you, they were attached to this person that's in love with you, this person that um, you could have spoke the truth to that person. And somebody around this person was like secretly, you know, placing some type of illusion for a long time. They wanted this person to be confused and um, wanted it to be hidden about their will of fortune, their birth chart, different things like that. Stuff that they're destined to do, stuff that they're destined to have. And it's like <clears throat> they did not want this person to do the work on their self and they did not want you to work on whatever it is that you were called to do. They were trying to stop you from reading tarot. So if you started reading tarot and then you started speaking the truth or you spoke the truth about someone, they got mad. And they wanted to have you in the hangman energy, but you're someone that's very strong. You're also someone that's very protected. That was hidden to that person. Now they're trying to hide the fact that they tried to cause some type of confusion and they wanted you to feel stuck because you spoke the truth. Or they tried to wrap you up in some type of situation behind the scenes. I'm so done. Yeah, they were trying to have control. The emperor in the reverse. They were trying to have control over whoever it is that uh, your divine counterpart is. The person that's in love with you, this person that's your true love. They wanted control over that person. They didn't want that person to be able to stand up and have control over their self. So they were doing stuff, you know, in secret. Seven of Cups, the Moon card. This could have been spell work. They were placing over this person to confuse them about their destiny, their purpose, the route that they're supposed to be on, the path that they're supposed to be taking. Five of Swords is here. Yeah. It's like they were determined to, you know, have control over this person. They were trying to win at all costs with spell work. I'm so done. This is something serious. King of Wands is here. Knight of Wands. The Lovers. And Six of Pentacles is here. It's like they figured they can play some type of sex magic. Knight of Wands and King of Wands. They knew this person was looking towards you. The lovers is here. But it's like this person, they possibly were not woke to, you know, this spiritual connection. But they were watching you. And you're the person that they have the spiritual connection with. 
So they try to have this person, you know, get this person's attention off of you. And they would, you know, have this person in this Knight of Wands energy, doing stuff without thinking, just running around in a lustful energy. And this is what they were determined to, like, you know, keep this person in. They wanted that person to think that that was equal give and take. The death card is here. Whatever spell work they placed over this person, sex magic or whatever they were doing to cause this illusion in the dark, it helped this person go through a transformation. The death card is here and end something out. Yeah, it made this person have a it made this person have a realization that they needed to end something out. That's it. King of Pentacles is here. And then Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's like now this person is in this energy where they're coming towards you, where they're moving forward. It's like they're going towards something quick after realizing this and putting an end to um, this situation where someone was trying to have some type of control over this person, like trying to dominate this person. I'm so done with spell work. This is sad. King of Swords is here. And Seven of Swords. I'm so done. So it's like this person had a snake around them. This literally, like, if this was not a family member, this could have been a friend, somebody that they looked at as family. <clears throat> and this could be you in this Empress energy. You're someone that's very mature, but they didn't want that person to see you for who you truly are. So they figured they would place an illusion over this person and it would be hidden. They did something to cause deception, to have this person in this energy where um, they distanced themselves from you, and then Seven of Swords is here. They're being very sneaky, strategic, behind the scenes. And then Eight of Cups is here. Yeah, this is somebody that they need to walk away from. Because that person was keeping him in an illusion. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. To have some type of control over them. It's like they, they thought they had some type of control over that person. So if they were like placing an illusion around this person, it was hidden. They had been doing this for a long time. To like control this person. Get this person to, you know, give to them and invest in them, take care of them, look out for them. And this King of Wands did not know this was being done. It's like as soon as this person got in this King of Swords energy, because this could be them that cut, you know, someone off that was being very deceptive and then the Eight of Cups walked away from the illusion. It's like as soon as they cut them off, they, um... They were no longer confused. As long as they were attached to that person, they were being confused. They were, you know, in this energy where they felt like they didn't have any control over their self. Wow. Yeah, this was a cycle that needed to end out. Because whoever this person is, this person thought that they had to one up this person and they would be holding on to this person. It's like they did a lot of stuff, five of wands, to try to hold on to that person. And they were trying to hold on to something too tight that they shouldn't have, you know, been trying to hold on to. Yeah, justice is here and nine of swords is here. It's like they're being exposed. This is their worst nightmare. Being exposed, justice being served, balance is here. They can't sleep at night. Three of cups is here. And then the devil. So this was a karmic friend. Three of cups and then the devil that they were in a toxic karmic cycle with. 
and this person is dealing with some type of abandonment issues that they needed to heal. You know, stuff that they have been dealing with since they were a child. They were trying to keep, you know, hold on to that person. Because they don't want to heal. Like these two, these are people that have two different paths and they were trying to block this person off from their path. Because they didn't want to do the work to get on their own path. So they figure they hold on to that person. But that entire time, they were jealous of that person, envious of that person. Always secretly competing, five of ones, trying to one up that person, but was still trying to hold on to that person. Like this is somebody that's just toxic. This was a karmic friend that's dealing with their own, you know, deep uh, rooted abandonment issues. Hmm, so dumb. Yeah, it's like they're receiving karma. Judgment is here. This person is sitting back nervous because they're under judgment. They're guilty. Yeah, and they're in regret. Five of Cups is here. It's like they're ashamed. Whatever they were doing, they ended up getting exposed. Page of Swords is here, and then Nine of Pentacles is here. This person could be sitting back watching you, and they're in regret. Because you're someone that's stable. You're someone that's in this nine of pentacles energy. Very successful. Yeah, and this person wants to partner up with you. Two of cups is here. It's like whatever they did, it made this person watch you. Observe you. And this person could have literally found out you're the person that they're supposed to partner up with and work with. And this is someone that was trying to have... Um, them distant from you, Queen of Swords, or cut you off. All that just came back around, Two of Pentacles is here, after they realized they were betrayed by this karmic friend. Yeah, this person lied to them, Two of Swords. It's like they were trying to blind this person from the truth. They were trying to have some type of control over this person. They figure if they have control over this person, this person would never come towards you. They would have this person blocked off from um, their emotions. This person would be blocked off from their true love. And they would just be giving and giving and giving and giving to them and taking care of them. This is sad. The musician is here. And the fool card in the reverse. It's like they tricked this person so they would not come towards you. And two of swords is here. They lied. Lied to this person so they would not come towards you. Eight of swords is here and five of pentacles is here. It's like this person, as I said, they could have did something to try to have you wrapped up within this hangman, like wrapped up in the situation. And they thought they had you stuck. Eight of, one, eight of swords is here. You would just be stuck. You will be in this five of pentacles energy, taking losses, going through financial lacks. And this person would not want to come towards you or something like that. They would look at you as someone that's low vibrational. I am so done. You're at the six of wands having victory and success. This person holds you in high honor. It's like you're attracting a lot of attention. This person look at you as someone that is um someone that is um I don't know why I'm getting high, you know, you're held high. People respect you. A lot of people look up to you. And it's like, they see you at the Six of Wands and they want to collaborate with you. It's like they want to build with you. Three of Pentacles and then Ten of Pentacles is here. Yeah. It's like they could have wanted, they, they could have wanted this person to look at you as, oh, this person is someone that's low vibrational. And you, you know, you were trying to have this person stuck or something like that. It's like they did something to try to have you stuck, to try to, you know, have that person where they would not want to come towards you. But that person was still watching you the entire time. And it's like they made they wanted that person to think that if they partnered up with them or built built something with them. It would be victory and success. They would have the Ten of Pentacles. This is how this part, your twin or um, this person that you have a spiritual connection with, look at you. 
someone that they want to collaborate with, deal with, have the Ten of Pentacles with, and they want victory and success with you. So it's like the way that they wanted this person to view you, this is how this person um, that you have a spiritual connection with is viewing them. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. They look at that person as someone that they need to leave out in the cold, and they look at that person as someone that tried to have them stuck, and they did something in a sneaky, deceptive way. But they got caught, and this is why they're being left out in the cold. I'm so done. It's like they realize that person is someone that's low vibrational. And they're 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 attached to some type of financial curse, and they're not going to be able to move forward around that person, the chariot in the reverse. Wow. Yeah, four of wands is here, and then ace of pentacles. This is someone who did not want this person to come towards you, uh, come in union with you, build a stable foundation with you, and have abundance with you. They didn't want you and this person to have any type of relationship. It's like they were trying to stop this person from coming in union with you if they knew that you were this person's twin and you and this person were, you know, gifted and would be abundant together. Yeah, the tempers card on the bottom of the deck, like they knew that you were this person's twin. They knew once this person came towards you, something will be balanced out. Things will be restored. Different things that hadn't took place in the past. And, um... They knew that you and this person would be balancing out masculine and feminine energy, but they could not have that because they placed some type of illusion around this person to have control over them. And they thought they were going to have control over this person's will of fortune. I am so done. Like what's destined for them. You will least expect. Two of Wands is here. This person was trying to slow down something that God had ordained for you and that person. The hair fine and then Two of Wands is here. Ten of Wands is here. And then the Hermit is here. I am so done. It's like they, if this person just distanced themselves from you, they could be in Hermit mode. And they just wait. It's like they feel weighed down, weighed down. Because they want to connect with you. Whatever that person did, it weighed them down. It made them want to go in this, you know, energy where they went within to investigate. Ghosted a lot of people. And they didn't want to be around that person or nobody else. They could have been going through a spiritual awakening. And it's like they want to connect with you. Now their cups is here. It is pressured that person to want to connect with you. Yeah, Three of Wands is here. It's like they've made a final decision. Yeah, that they want to have a new beginning, Ace of Wands and Page of Pentacles. After um, seeing things for what it is, it's like they've sat back and observed for a long time. Seven of Pentacles is here. They could have been sitting back studying, researching as they were in hermit mode. And now they're seeing, you know, stuff for what it is. Why stuff was done the way it was done. It's because they needed to end something out. Go through a transformation. And um, leave this person out in the cold. Whoever this karmic friend is. That was only betraying this person. This is sad. If they were literally like... You know, placing spell work over this person to have them confused because they wanted control over that person. Because this person is someone that's kind hearted. This is sad. And they, they were doing this for a long time. Yeah, King of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. It's like they could have grew up with this person, Six of Cups. But this is somebody that would, you know, just give, you know, out the kindness of their heart. And they were taking advantage of this person. I am so done. And it's like, this is the only way that they had control over this person by placing an illusion, but it was hidden. The moon card and seven of cups is like, they could have placed different spell work over this person. 
and they didn't even know as long as they knew this person that this person did stuff like that. This was hidden the entire time. And it's like, they're pissed off because you spoke the truth about something that they do that was hidden. And they did not want people to know this. And they definitely did not want, you know, your twin to know. So they did something quick and it didn't do nothing but make your twin realize who they were and why you spoke the truth and why they did what they did. <laughs> I'm so done.